turn, turn, turn. Oh, can we jump it? Oh, we cleared it and all of the cars. We cleared the excavator and the cars. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Off Road Outlaws. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the new limited edition vehicles that were updated into the game. So let's go ahead and check these out. So we're going to go straight to the limited exclusive. And look at this. So it looks like they are actually monster trucks. Whoever did this one did a really, really good job. I actually like how the flag is incorporated into the bed and sort of the side of the vehicle. It says 2A on the hood. And then he's got those flags sticking out the back. One of them says, come and take it with a gun on it. Honestly, I really like this build. It is a really nice F-250, so good job. And then here's another Ford. This one looks like it is a Bigfoot version. Now, I'm not too sure if there is a Bigfoot that looks exactly like this, but if there is, I don't know of it, but it would be a really cool build. Now, I'm not too sure why the front of it hangs down so far, but... I mean, it's still a big foot. It probably does really good for jumping over cars and jumping ramps and stuff. It's got the military flags on the back and everything. So I really like this build too. Then we're going to go to this build right here. This looks like it is barefoot. This is obviously probably the brother of Bigfoot. Instead of being a Bigfoot, this is actually a barefoot. This is one of the old school Silverados. I actually really do like this build. This is really nice. We might end up actually getting this one. And then here's another one. This one is called Frostbite. Honestly, this is probably my favorite one out of all the ones that are in here. I like the two turbos sticking out of the hood. I like the two turbos sticking out of the engine bay. So you can definitely tell this thing is pushing quite a bit of power. I really like the way this one is put together. It is nice. I like the frostbite, especially the wolf that is on the very back of it. This is a really nice one. I would definitely get this one if I were one of y'all. Here's another F-250 and this one looks sort of like the Traxxas Bronco type of color scheme. Now I like this one, but now I really like this one. This is going to be a really nice truck to be using. It says kicking it old school on the back. I would definitely get this one too. And then here's the last one. Looks like this is the F450. Now, I believe I might have seen this one inside of the car show before. Now, I'm not too sure, but this one honestly looks really, really familiar. So let me know down below in the comments, guys, which one are you going to go with? If you do end up buying one of these, honestly, I would get either the Silverado, the C10, or this Traxxas right here. Okay guys, so we went ahead and got one of these. We actually went ahead and got the barefoot. So let's go ahead and take this thing out to one of the monster truck maps and let's see what this thing can do. Now we went ahead and actually changed up a few things on this with the gear ratios and a little bit of things with the engine. So let's just go ahead and actually test this thing out. Now the reason why I changed those is so it can be, you know, sort of set up for my playstyle. Oh, 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 we almost cleared the excavator. I can't believe we landed on it. So far this thing does pretty good. I actually really like the suspension in it. It's very smooth. Oh okay, guys, we're gonna see if we can jump over the excavator. So let me go ahead and get all the way over here. Now let's see how much speed we can get. All right, let's take off. Oh, come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, can we jump it? Oh, we cleared it and all of the cars. We cleared the excavator and the cars. That was crazy. Let me know down below in the comments guys, what do you think about these monster trucks that I did add into the game for the exclusive section? Let me know down below in the comments also if you are going to end up buying one of these and which one are you planning on buying? Now let's see how fast this thing can go. I'm going to go ahead and start one of these trials. Okay, let's see how fast we can do this. Let's get through the first one. Let's get through this one. Oh, oh, I don't want to hit it. <laughs> 
As I just did, I just ran into it. You definitely don't want to do that. Okay, we got through that. Oh, and the next one's right... Wait, what? Is this the next one? Okay, that is. I have no clue where I'm going right now. Okay, that's definitely not it. Now, I wish in custom maps they would make it to where whenever you clear through a checkpoint, it would disappear so you don't get confused by the next one. Because that definitely happens a lot. And in a map that is actually created already in the game by the developers, their little checkpoints actually disappear. Oh, take off the jump for the final one, and looks like Fun Guy is the leader of this with 28 seconds. So guys, let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about Barefoot? What do you think about this Monster Jam map? Besides that guys, please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications.